it is the Charming Giraffe and we are here to do another painting today. Um, today's painting will be on a 12 by 12 canvas. As you can see I already have a thin coat of light blue paint already down. This is just going to help the paint flow. Uh, today's painting will be a bottle bottom pour using this different bottle bottom. It's not the standard one. Um, it's got a few more little grooves in there so I do really like it. Um, I wanted to try this on a 12 by 12 instead of like an 8 by 10 just because it's you know even all the way around 12 inches on 12 inches um, and then we're using our leftover paint from I think it was like two days ago it was the spinning paint we didn't get in that like neon green and stuff so all that is still in here um, and then I think some from last week where we had like all those little cups of paint from the string pool. Um, I covered those on top of each other and I poured that in here as well. Like I rigged it to, to drip into this cup. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Okay, so maybe there wasn't neon green in this one. I really thought there was, though. Um, but apparently not so much. <laughs> so I'm going to do a few things here. First, I pushed a popsicle stick down in the middle to help all of that um, paint uh, go to the middle of the canvas so there wasn't the negative space uh, light blue in there. The second thing I will do is... I've got some syringes, so I'm going to pull some of that paint out of the middle just because I don't want it to um, move with our painting. Um, sometimes the when you go to move it around to stretch it out to cover, that ends up taking over. So I don't want that to happen. So to prevent that, you just get rid of it. This has worked on one few, uh, one past video, so I'm going to keep going with it. And now we will tilt. So we'll start in the ones that I like the most <laughs> so you can see how we've got all these really cool colors where these um these bottom ones are some orange some pink some blue the white um in between each of them there's like all this really dark like almost like black and brown with a little bit of white in there some blues or some actually that one's really pretty it's got some purples in there the next one we're kind of going our way up the right hand side of the painting and then these two kind of got mushed a little bit and that's mainly just white and blue and maybe a little bit of a orange or something in there so and then our middle didn't get too stretched out so I am happy with it I'm actually really happy with it. It's definitely not something I would normally like think I would be happy with, but I really, really like this one for some reason. I think it might just be the contrast or the way all the colors just kind of look like they're melting together or something. I'm not sure. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and do what makes you happy.